In this video, we're going to be talking about what a smart plug is, why it's helpful for everyone, not just techies, and how you can do this in just three steps. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you the bonus, how you can use this without even searching for an app. You guys ready? Let's get into it. All right, now that we have our Wi-Fi password ready, we're gonna go to the App Store, and that's for Apple users. If you're using an Android, you're gonna go to the Play Store. So here we go, App Store is right here, and we are going to the search option, and we're gonna tap in here. This particular smart plug is called Wi-Fi Socket, so that's what we're gonna type in here, Wi-Fi space socket. And before I even finish it, it already appears because it exists in the App Store. So I'm gonna choose this first one, and there we go, Wi-Fi socket. Now, for you, you're gonna see where it says get, because you've never downloaded it before, and it's free, so don't worry, go ahead and get that. And then, when you got it, it says open, tap on open. Now, you see here, I already have things um, here. For you, it's gonna be blank and brand new, and this is what you'll see. It's gonna be ready to link. So let's get to step two. Step two of the setup is to place the plug in an easy to reach plug just to set it up. It doesn't mean it has to stay there. If you're gonna plug into something way down here, you don't have to set it up here. You can always move it to the desired place afterwards. Check it out. So if you've got a plug that is, say, in the backyard, it's so easy to get to like this, use it because you're in the same area as your Wi-Fi, okay? So you just plug it in, and we're ready to set up. Now that we put in our Wi-Fi password, let's confirm it. And this is what you're gonna see. Now I'll speed it up for you here. There we go. So this is the next screen that you're gonna see. And this is where you can go ahead and name it uh, where you want it to be or where it's gonna be connected to. So of course, it's just, it's just going to say smart plug one, two, three, four, as many as you have uh, plugged in there. But if you see that little uh, pencil to the right, you tap on that and then you can go ahead and name it whatever you like. And this is where you can go ahead and edit the name of wherever you're going to put that plug. Once you have that, go ahead and save it and then press done. And now it is ready to use. All right, guys, here we are at the bonus. So uh, we said that you could use this without the application, right? So you see here on my home screen that the Wi-Fi socket application is there, but to the right of it is my Google Home application. So in order to use um, the devices without using the app itself, there are the smart speakers that are available that you can do it by voice. So the smart speakers available is Apple's Home Hub, where you would say, Hey, Siri, I hope that didn't make any, any phones go off right now. <laughs> the second one is Google Home, which you would say, hey, Google. And the next one would be Amazon's Echo, which you would just say Alexa. Now, when you use these, that means that you're gonna have the corresponding application. So right now I have the uh, Google Home. So I will download and use the Google Home and here now i'm not going to show you how to actually set up google home or anything like that right now uh, this is if you already have it i'll have other videos where we will get into that um, into setting up these uh, smart speakers but for now this is if you already have it so in having the smart socket the smart socket is actually uh, it works with um, google home and alexa right now the smart socket does not work with the with apple's home hub so I know, that's a bit of a downer, but if you have the other two, Google Home and Amazon Echo, you can definitely use it here. And you'll be able to put it in here, um, and when you do, you see that you can you can actually use the app itself if you want, but the point is to not, because you have a smart speaker to go with it. So you would say, hey, Google, and turn off the living room light, turn off my bedroom light, whatever you named it, you would then say that. So let me show you how it works. All right, guys. I'm here in a completely different part of the home 
And this is the Google Home, okay? Google Home Mini to be exact. And this is how you do it hands-free. Hey Google, turn off the living room light. Sure, turning light off. Hey Google, turn the living room light on. Sure, turning light on. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment if you already have one or you're interested in it now. Let me know. I'll see you next time.